much yesterday and we must apologize for some of the picture quality from Roker Park. There's not a lot we can do about torrential rain coming straight into the lens. Your match commentator is Roger Taines. A new captain for Sunderland today, but as a county Durham lad, Richard Ord will feel the importance of this game right from the heart. Ord has been given a new lease of life by Peter Reid's arrival. But he takes the armband because three previous skippers in the last four weeks are all missing. Kevin Ball is suspended and stand-ins Steve Agnew and Gary Bennett are both injured. But Martin Smith is recalled to the starting lineup. No return for Derek Ferguson yet. Michael and Martin Gray are both in midfield. The famous name returns to Roker Park in Andrew Todd, son of Sunderland legend Colin Todd, the Bolton number two. Todd the Younger is currently on loan from Middlesbrough, diverting his attention now to the other end of the division. Swindon have major problems when they can least afford them. Manager Steve McMahon is suspended for the rest of the season. Captain Paul Bowden plus Ian Culverhouse and Jason Drysdale are all injured. But Kevin Horlock returns to the team that lost at home to Stoke in place of the expensive but well out of favour Joey Beecham. Referee today, Trevor West from Hull. Five years ago, next month, these two clubs were trying to get out of this division and up into the top flight. But those small number of matches and seasons later, they find themselves trying to stay in this division. And Sunderland will know that if they can win three points today, if it doesn't exactly wrap up safety, it will go a long way to securing it and will give them an eight-point advantage over their West Country rivals here. Taylor will have to stretch, but Michael Gray was too nippy, and Smith is through the middle. Solid challenge there, and a good follow-up too from Angel. And that was a decent effort there from Gray. Michael Gray quite prepared to have a go as well. And Fraser Digby was well positioned to deal with it. First touch pushed him rather wide, and he had to pull it back. But he found the target, and decently held by Digby. Michael Gray, Martin Gray. Atkinson shaping up for a shot, didn't find its way through. Angel, so close to his first goal. Brett Angel really turned on that one sharply. And it flew away off the woodwork. Angel wasted absolutely no time in getting his shot in. It looked as though Atkinson might have had a go, but it didn't find its way through. Deflections there, and Angel swiveled. Good curve, and off that upright. Smith picks up this loose ball, threaded behind the fullback. Gray can make up that sort of ground, but the cover again was there for Mandy Todd. Mandy Todd, family concerned, of, of course, at the other end of the division. Holt lifted that one towards Melville. Some of the defenders getting in a bit of a mess there. And it's onside for Thorne. Good save, Norman. The referee waved play on, not interfering with play. And Thorne was onside. And got a good shot in there. And it's still Swindon on the attack. Norman comes again and deals with it. What an important save that was, though, from Tony Norman. kick there for the injury but Norman using his experience there Thorn was set free he beat the offside trap rattled in the shot and was well struck Norman right there to deal with it Richard Ord there going off for a bit more treatment Ord the captain today the last person who wants to be led out of this contest on a permanent basis Nye Holt. Richard Orr looks as though he's out of the action. And it's a rare chance for Anthony Smith, who gets his first taste of first team action for the season. He is a defender. There will be a certain amount of organisation will there. Great 
played straight in there to rob Andy Todd of possession. Viviash, who's just come on, is also beaten there. Cover for Robinson. Viviash again, but played into the middle. Michael Gray! What a terrific effort! Superbly met by Michael Gray. Whipped in there by Viviash right across his own goal. Perfectly crossed and perfectly met and perfectly saved as well by Digby. He's carried on a supporting run. Now, can he get the cross in? Whistle's gone again. Another necessary foul. Robinson, guilty man, I think. Predictable booking for that challenge. Flicked on by Smith. Smith again, driven in there, it's a goal! Sunderland have scored, Martin Smith! The breakthrough just before half-time, absolutely crucial. A cleanly struck goal there by Martin Smith for a call to the team. So the ball not cleared by the Swindon defence. Eventually Smith, who has just been dumped on the ground, following in. And a really cleanly struck shot right across the face of the goal, beating Digby and into that far corner. Or Sunderland in charge then, but only just the goal from Martin Smith, expertly struck and tucked away in the far corner just before half time, put Sunderland in control of this vital relegation game. Sunderland won, Swindon Town nil. We go in the second half then, Sunderland with a vital advantage secured just before half-time by Martin Smith. There's Guy Holt. Back for Todd. Dispossessed, though, by Atkinson. He used his strength. And now Brett Angel. Angel's one-on-one. -on -one. He's delayed it, though, and he's brought in Phil Gray. Gray beaten away by Digby. That was a really good break by Sunderland and a great opportunity to put this game really under control. with the first break, he spared it for Gray, cracked it, but Digby had come off his line to a good position to deal with it. Smith. 
Clear across now for Horlock. And that did get a touch from a summon the defender. It was Kubicki who got out to close it down. And that's a corner kick to Swindon. One goal lead, so fragile, of course. Draw specialists at home. 11 games, Sunderland. Uh, they ended up level at Roker Park. Swindon's corner. Hooper, great save. Tony Norman from the young substitute, Dean Hooper. To really crack that one in. And Norman, the experienced Tony Norman, called out the save that was needed. Beating it away from that really fiercely headshot. Digby has done his bit. Smith stretching a stride to keep that one in and sliding on this really soaking wet surface now. But Digby once again doing his stuff. Gray getting in between the defenders then. Skidding along the ground. Digby straight off his line. Gray came flying in in the hope of a second attempt. Michael Gray. the whistle, an almighty cheer of relief, and Peter Reid goes to Steve McMahon for the back of those two former England midfield players, won by Reid, and more importantly, won for him by Martin Smith's one strike with a couple of minutes to go to half-time. It proved absolutely vital. Again, battled out in appalling conditions with non-stop commitment, as you might have expected, but Smith's goal should well be first division security for Sunderland. Swindon, it's looking bleak. Sunderland won, Swindon Town nil. We play well at Bolton and didn't get the result, but we've we've come out today, we've rolled our sleeves up in, in real difficult conditions. And I thought we got the result our play deserved. It was a battle, but we've created chances and uh, fortunately for us we got the one goal and that mattered. Well, it wasn't for the faint-hearted at Roker, but Sunderland have gone a long way to secure their foot.